Hello guys, this is Pungent Pie, and welcome to my uh, first video of 2013. Uh, it's been a while since my last video because um, oh, I've really just been kind of busy. Um, I've not really been able to play RS a lot lately, even. But uh, I have I have about an hour, an hour and a half to play RS and whatever. So I thought, you know, I'll make a video about um, about you know stuff to do with the new year. So. But first, let's see. Uh, see if we get anything decent. Uh, it's probably just the usual stuff, but you never know. What was that? I got a small XP line. That's that's fine, I suppose. It's better than like I don't know, 1k or something. But we'll have to see. What do we have now? We have 1k. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, that can be for farming. Very nice. All right. So um. Yeah, first thing I want to talk about, um, it was for me anyway, I don't know about you, but it was my first day back at, um, back at, like, college, or, you know, whatever you'd call it. It was pretty good for my first day back, actually. I'm not quite sure what I was expecting it was going to be like, but, um, yeah, it was better than I expected, and it's getting kind of good because each term, or, um, like, each year, it, you do more... Um, specific things to do what you want to do. So, um, I don't know if anybody knew, but I do um, creative uh, media design, creative like film and TV design kind of thing. You can do editing, you can learn editing, you can um, pretty much learn everything to do with movies if you're if you're dedicated enough. So, yeah, it's pretty great actually. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about uh, people often make New Year's resolutions and stuff in the New Year, and I can see the point of that. I can see them wanting to do a make a change, which is good, obviously. But I think there's just better ways of doing it, if you know what I mean. Um, because I'll explain. Um, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions like about stuff that's really not that hard to do or hard to change. Um, like a lot of people say, oh, I want to, um, I want to get fitter this year, or you know, I want to stop smoking or something like that. And um, what I just, I, what I think is, you shouldn't just make one big kind of thing that you want to do th this year. You should make lots of little things that you're going to do now. For example, um, if someone makes a New Year's resolution saying they want to stop smoking, I want to stop smoking this year. Well, no, don't do that. That's being lazy say you want to stop smoking now um, you know more or less everything that you can think of that someone would set um, you know you can do right now um, whether that's you know you want to get fitter you want to stop smoking you want to get a girlfriend I don't know you want to be better in school or whatever you know all of these things you can do right now even with goals with you know like RuneScape or something you know you might think that's kind of like a sad goal or whatever well it's not really, you know, it's better to have a goal at, even at a game than to have no goals whatsoever because if you don't set yourself goals and stuff then you know, you're gonna end up not really in a good situation, you know, so you've got to set goals and stuff like that um, for example, I know this is probably nothing to do with what I'm saying but um, I was in the car with my dad a couple of days ago and there was something on the radio that said um, in 1979, I think it was, um, they did an interview with like a, I think it was a hundred, um, like graduates of college or something like that, or university, and they interviewed them and they said, do you have any plans now for your life at the moment, and do you have any plans for the next ten years? And, um, it was something like 8% had plans for the next ten years. 13 had plans for what I want to do now, and then the rest just had no plans whatsoever. They they were just finishing university, and that was it. And then um, I think they they found those they found all the people they interviewed. I think it was 10 or 20 years later, and um, basically the ones that had plans for the next like couple of months, the ones who's had small plans, were making twice as much money as the ones who didn't. And the people that had plans for the next ten years were making ten times as much money as the ones who didn't. So, um, you know, that kind of proves that <coughs> you should make plans for everything. Um, I mean, I know everything doesn't always go according to plan, but it's good to have 
um, a rough guide of what you want to do or at least some goals and try and get there because you know not everything will go exactly how you plan it which is fine because you know if life went exactly as planned then you know there wouldn't really be any challenges and challenges keep things interesting so yeah so really um, I just wanted to say um, just keep little goals in your life you know I mean you can keep goals of what you want to do every day I mean I can't really think what that would be but you know things that you want to be every day say you want to be a better friend uh, maybe you want to be a better friend to just someone or you want to be a better friend to everybody or you just want to be a better person you can do that now you don't have to you know think oh I'll do it this year because you don't want to be one of those people that kind of um, blame others for how your life is you don't want to be like that it's just not it's not a good way to be you know I mean more or less it, it depends how old you are but um really eventually everything that you do in your life is going to be down to you and if you don't like how your life is when you're 20 30 that's most likely down to you so I suppose what I'm just really trying to say is make sure you have goals and make sure you always have um, a reason for doing something you know like you, you've always you, you'll probably have to do things in your life at some point that you don't really enjoy doing like you know you'll probably get a job in a place that you don't really enjoy or you have to work with someone that you don't really like um, and if you think in the in the grand scheme of things you know these little things like people that annoy you or you know jobs that you don't really like doing won't really matter that much you realize that some things that seem to bother you now aren't really that important when you're younger like one thing that I've noticed is if you're still in school um, and you're watching this problems and stuff at school that seem really important to you when you leave and you look back and you just think you know they really it already wasn't too important that that happened or that you did that you reacted or a certain way or whatever you know people just need to um you know i think some people overreact but you don't want to take that too far you don't want to um get lazy because if you get lazy then people are just going to lose respect for you like you know, if if your friends or something are asking you to go out somewhere with them or something, you know, that's that's like a really nice thing because they're doing something and they've asked you to go. If you don't really want to go, you suppose you could give them a good reason. But if you say no, like to everything that they ask you, they're eventually just going to stop talking to you. So, you know, you really just need to um, like prioritize things. And I think you know that's what's worked for me anyway. Um, not really with RS. Well, you know, kind of with RS, and there's something down there that I don't know what it is. Like, it's a. I don't know. But yeah, with RS, I mean, it even works with that, but really I'm just talking about. Um, I'm just talking about real life, and. What was that? I don't know. But yeah. I'm really just trying to talk about real life and trying to, um, you know, help people because uh, there's there's really not a lot that you can't change if you you know you don't like something you can probably try and uh, change it or you know at least try and make a situation better for yourself and um you know if you're getting stressy or you're getting uh like pissed off or something's making you upset just try and think um how important is this really you know does it really matter that much or um you know if it does what can you do to solve it you know getting mad and shouting at people often probably doesn't solve problems so yeah, I think, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to say I want to try and do this year. I mean, I'm going to hopefully learn guitar. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to learn guitar. Um, I'm hopefully going to find out, like, proper, like, you know some people that you hang around with sometimes and they aren't really your friends that much. Hopefully I'm going to try and, you know, get rid of people like that because I don't want to waste time on people that aren't really my friends and then, you know, I could have spent that time with other people, so, you know, really I'm just going to try and find out who my sort of proper friends are. I've got a pretty nice idea of who they are, and I'm really happy with that, so, yeah. Um, what else, really? Um, that's, I think that's it. I'm just going to also, um, just, yeah, like, prioritise things, you know, make things more um, important than others, you know, that's not to push things aside, just you know try and make things a bit easier for yourself by planning things more you know like I said if you plan things ahead it can work out 
you know, can work out really good for you. So, uh, yeah, this has been really different <laughs> from my usual videos, and I hope it's been good. I just tried to uh, make things a little bit interesting, and I hope I've not just rambled on. I hope I've actually said stuff that I wanted to, but I'm not sure, so... Yeah, I just have to see. I think there's there's a couple of people that usually um, follow, not really follow, but you know, there's a couple of people that I know that watch my videos quite regularly. I'm really thankful for them. Oh, and also one of my goals was to get around around 300 subscribers. I'd, I'd like that if I got 300 subscribers this year, and um, I'm doing that now, you know, by keeping active. So, yeah, um, if that doesn't really happen, I won't be too sort of knocked off by it. You know, I don't really mind. It'd just be nice if I could, you know, get a bit of kind of recognition for, like, the stuff that I do. And yeah, well, all right, I'll stop kind of rumbling on. Um, I hope everyone had an awesome Christmas. And if you want to join my clan, it's called Disturbed. It's going really great at the moment. Um, I'm just trying to get more active people in the clan and stuff. And uh, yeah, I shall see you guys in my next video.